You know, you may be a mechanical Fortnite master, but if you can't survive off spawn, guys, then you'll never have the chance to actually show off. And now that the new season is here and your arena points have been reset, surviving off spawn is one of the biggest things that you need to do to stay on top of your grind and enjoy the season. Bunch of crunch, Tommy. Your motivation guy is back. And today, man, we're gonna be going over the best tips and tricks to survive off spawn so that you can win more games consistently. Are you guys ready for this? I know I am. Let's get this going. All right, guys, so one of the most important things that you need to learn in order to survive all spawn is your drop spot, which you can only do by making sure that you've properly planned out your drop. So the best way to win off spawn, guys, is by landing at the same POI every single game and then planning out which building that you're actually going to land at. For example, all right, if you and your trio are going to drop down a distinct stacks, you should always call out which building that you're going to land at, whether you managed to pick up a weapon early or not, and if, you know, other players have landed near you. So for steamy stacks specifically, like your whole team can land on the same building at the front and then go through the middle building with your trio to grab all the loot. And this is going to allow you to cut off the other team from securing more loot than you. And of course, it's going to give you an advantage when the fight. Planning your drop isn't, you know, just useful in trios though. Like knowing exactly where everything is located at your drop location will allow you to clear through it and really just loot everything with ease. And your increased knowledge of the landscape is going to give you a one up on any of your enemies. So to claim buildings and really to scare off your opponents, all right, you should always try to land on a gun or on a chest before anybody else. And this is going to force your opponents to realize that they simply can't land near you. And it's just going to end up ruining their drop. So you need to practice your drops on the daily, right? And just going to the same drop spot every single game, I'm telling you, it's going to help you a lot. So just make sure, my friends, like you're always trying new things while dropping and review which ways are the best according to the bus path. Let me say this, like if you're making it down to the ground before your opponent and you still aren't quite able to walk away with the win, then you might need to check out one of our master courses on ProGuides.com. And these are courses devised by some of the biggest pros on the scene, like the incredible Clicks. <laughs> They're going to walk you through everything that you need to know about the game. And, you know, ranging from the basics to some of the most high-level tactics. I mean, it's the best way to learn to play like the pros fast. Now that you know exactly what it takes for you to have the best drops, all right, you're also going to need to know the best ways to, to utilize that perfect drop. And so, when you've landed on the ground, you need to start looking for a gun immediately so that you have protection from your enemies or so that you can just immediately just go on the offensive. And so if you land somewhere like Slurpee or, you know, Steamy, you know, Sweaty or a bunch of other, you know, open locations on the map, you're going to have plenty of time to easily just laser your opponents out of the air with a perfect drop. And so while you're landing, scan the area for an AR, a bow or even an SMG if your opponent is just trying to land right on top of you. You can sometimes do up to 50 damage before your enemies even have a chance to land in certain situations, which will grief their chances of ever hoping to be able to win a fight against you. So this is going to force them to use more heals, play much more defensively, and it's definitely going to ensure you that you're going to be the aggressor of any fight. When you're scouting out for a gun to land on, all right, you need to be aware of your surroundings. And you also, guys, need to use a trick that not a lot of people really use right now. If you're on KBM, you're probably already using your scroll wheel to reset builds. But have you been using that very same scroll wheel to pick up your items? So scroll wheel pickup will allow you to pick up any item you get from a chest or even floor loot before your enemies every single time. Okay, so all you need to do is just bind your secondary pickup bind to scroll up or down depending on the direction of your reset scroll. And you're all set from there. Like this is going to allow you to go 50-50 with basically no worries at all. But I will say this, like you should definitely make sure that you're aware of the situation before you go for the 50-50. Like if your opponent has a better drop than you, you will still probably lose the fight and get eliminated yourself. Only go for 50-50 guys if you're extremely confident that you have a solid drop and then use your scroll wheel pickup to destroy your enemy before they even know what's going on. All right, punch your current Sami, where you at? It's time for the question of the day. So there's a ton of locations on the Fortnite map, and everyone just likes landing in different locations for different reasons, right? So we want to know this. Like, what's your favorite drop spot? Let us know in the comments because you already know we read every single one. So you drop down into the map. You've managed to win a clutch 50-50, and now you have some solid weapons. You also know for a fact that someone else has dropped on the other side of the POI. Now... I probably already know what you're thinking. You probably like want to push straight over to your opponent's side of the POI to take them out before they can even get looted up, right? Well, I mean, that isn't really the way that you should be tackling the situation in the slightest. So you need to learn, honestly, to be patient. And it's just something that I'm still working on. I can admit, I'm not perfect. I haven't arrived. I'm working on myself every single day. And yeah, I know when you see people, it's like something else takes over and you want to take them out. I get it. But you need to loot every single nook and cranny on your side of the POI. Like, pop 
all your shields and just farm up to at least 300 mats so that you have some building pressure if things get a little bit sticky. If you're playing as part of a trio, then after you loot, make sure that you actually push up together. You know, many teams make the mistake of just getting split up and then they just get 3v1. Instead, you guys should sneak up on your opponents together and then go for a synchronized AR beam to just rip apart their health before they even realize what's going on. So these tips, guys, will work in any game mode. And it's really, really up to you to really practice so that you can just make sure that your fighting skills are the best because I want you to be the best. We want you to be the best. And you can be the best if you implement this into your gameplay. I don't care what you think about yourself. You, you say negative things about yourself, I'm sure, a lot. But you know what? Start thinking positive about yourself because it's your time, my friend. It's your time, I'm telling you. So we also recommend ramping the enemy team so that you can just, you know, gain high ground dominance so they absolutely have no chance of just running away. And so if you're all on high ground together, the enemies also won't be able to single you out easily. So there is, of course, the chance that you may be in a scenario where you are stuck between two or three teams and have minimum loot that will not allow you to win every fight, especially if you get third party. And so in this case, you're going to need to box up and play extremely patient. Like try to avoid taking bloom fights whenever you can <laughs> and never push up on a player unless you're sure that you could box them up. And even if you're playing trios, that your trio will be with you for the elimination. So now that you know everything that you know in order to win your off spawn fights, all you really need to know next is how to rotate safely. All right, so you've managed to claim your POI or drop spot, right? And now you need to be careful of the other players that may be rotating into your loot path that, that are looking to eliminate you. For example, like if you're rotating from somewhere like Slurpee to the factories or you're going from Holly to the Slurp truck, you really need to be able to know where every player is. And so if you're playing trios, never split up from the rest of your teammates, guys. Don't do it, especially when you're looting. Stay in the same car if you're rotating with the vehicle. Just being aware and just always making sure that your loot route is clear. And then you can ensure going from the early game to the mid game will be a breeze for you guys in solos or your teammates in trios. In trios, all of this is pretty easy to do, all right? But in solos, that's kind of a different story. You can have many different players, you know, fighting at a single unnamed location, and that's just going to force you to really play safe and just stay with the loot that you managed to just scavenge from your drop spot. And so either way, guys, like you should always try to, you know, take the same route while allowing for some flexibility so that you can just switch things up a bit, you know, just depending on the scenario that you end up in, all right? Bunch of crunch saw me. First and foremost, you have to plan your drop properly. Like, pick a building at a location that you're always going to land at. And then, you know, learn the itty-bitty details of that location so you know where every piece of loot has the ability to spawn. So if you drop well enough and you have the opportunity, look for some just quick tags on enemies who are still landing. And so if you manage to do some early damage before they even finish their drop, yo, it's going to put you in a much better situation in the early game. If someone is directly contesting your landing spot, make sure that you have your scroll wheel pick up on so that you can just surprise them with your you know quicker looting and you know then unleash a wave of damage on them for an easy elimination and guys don't fight off spawn until you've looted everything that you can have some shields yo some mats and then if you're with your trio push and sync for that sneaky synchronized ar beam and finally my friends like be aware of your wider loot path and rotational options and always just really try to recognize if there are enemy teams nearby so that you don't get surprised if they try to attack you. So fighting our spawn is a struggle for many players and you know following every single tip in this video and really practicing them you know you're going to win you're going to start improving no matter what so make sure you guys learn from your mistakes utilize these tips to the fullest and I promise you man you're going to see so much improvement in your game you're going to love it hey if you guys like the video like the video subscribe to the channel and connect with me if you want some even more motivation at your motivation guy I'll see you guys soon peace